Good morning, church family. I hope everyone has had a wonderful week and that you are ready uh, this morning for our um, intro to family worship tonight. Tonight, we are going to be talking um, about donuts. We're going to be continuing our series called Snacks, and tonight we are going to be talking about donuts. And we're going to talk about how we need Jesus in our hearts. And we're going to learn um, that Jesus left a void in our hearts that only Jesus can fill. And we'll be talking about um, Jesus and the woman at the well. And that's what we're going to be focusing on tonight. So make sure that you and your families come out tonight for family worship um, from 5 to 6 at the church. Bring your uh, chairs, your blankets, whatever you want to sit on your Bibles. Make sure that you have your Bibles. At least one person in each family has their Bibles tonight. Um, and we're going to have a great time at family worship. So bring the whole family and make sure that you're there. But this morning, did you know that you can take a can of biscuits, kind of like this? Um, you know how the can of biscuits, you have the can of biscuits, you pop them open and then you get the biscuit out. Did you know that you can make donuts out of biscuits? It's true. And it's easy to make. Um, you'll have to have your mom and dad's help, of course. But here's what you do first. First, you open up the biscuits, right? Sounds easy. The second, you heat up the fryer with some oil. And that's where your parents will have to help. Um, and then third, you have to prepare the biscuits to look like a donut. How do we do that? How do we make this look like a biscuit? Or how do we make this biscuit look like a donut? How do we do that? See, donuts have holes, don't they? They have a hole right there, usually. But see, this biscuit, this biscuit doesn't have a hole, right? It doesn't have a hole in the center like a donut. So you can use a knife or even a cap of a plastic, a soda bottle, um, a cookie cutter to cut out the hole. And then you set those aside. And now you have a donut and donut holes. Who doesn't love donuts and donut holes? I know I do. I know that Emberly loves the little donut holes. And that's how you get them. The donut hole is um, the dough that is taken out from the center. You know, this reminds me of um, the way God made us. See, he left a hole inside of each of us. Not a physical hole, but a spiritual hole. And the one thing that can fill that gap, the one thing that can fill that hole is Jesus. And God wants us to invite Jesus to live in our lives. See, Jesus um, will forgive our sins and he will give us a new life through his Holy Spirit. And we get to know our Savior and learn to live like Jesus. So the next time you have a donut, whether it's homemade or store-bought, share the story of the donut hole with your family. Tell them about how um, the hole God placed in each of us and share that Jesus can fill that hole with his Holy Spirit. And that's the only thing that can fill that hole. So come out tonight and we'll talk more about that. We'll eat some donuts together. We'll play some games. But make sure that you're there at the church tonight. 5 to 6, and I look forward to seeing you and your whole family there for worship tonight. Make sure you bring your Bible and that you are ready for just a great time of worship tonight. I'll see you then.